Hi, I'm here to talk as to why your phone did not perform a full factory reset or did not perform factory reset after the following instructions I gave earlier on the previous video. There might be a reasons or a bunch of reasons or the possible reasons as to why your phone did not factory reset and I'm going to walk you through all of them. Some got this issue after updating their phone, you might forget the password you might forget the password and you want to perform a photo reset or maybe your phone may be laggy or you want to delete the necessary files then you run to the recovery mode only to find the web data factor reset option missing so this is how you can solve this problem with these simple steps first of all you need to ensure that the drivers are properly installed so let's begin with installing the required drivers those are the samsung drivers so this is how you are going to install the samsung drivers the easiest way so go ahead and open muslim Odin version 2.0 then run as administrator then you'll get a prompt message saying do you want to allow this software to make changes to your pc just click on yes then this is how the Muslim Odin version 2.0 looks like. So all you need to do is go to the bottom. You'll find the option saying drivers. Double click on it. Then it will ask you if you want to install the Samsung USB drivers. Go ahead and click on yes and the installation will begin in a few seconds. This process may take around 30 minutes to 20 minutes de depending on the speed of your PC. So all you need to do is just be patient and set the installation as normal files just like the other installation files. Then after a few seconds the installation process will finish. So just click on finish then restart your pc to apply changes click on restart then after restart when you go and try to open the muslim odin the odin version 3.44 the current version of the odin 3.14 so when you open it or when you try to open the Odin version 3.44 the first thing it will tell you is please be sure to delete your Google account or the Samsung account before downloading the binary it is not possible to use the device without unlocking changing the partition without unlocking will cause problems make sure download Make sure to download the appropriate binary for your model, the version of your model. That also matters a lot. So if you have a Samsung account or you have a Google account on your mobile phone, then it will not be possible to reset your phone using the download mode. You will not be able to reset your phone using download mode. That is because the FRP and the Samsung account blocks the download of the binary or updating or downgrading of the phone. So in short terms or in short forms, you will not be able to reset your phone using the download mode if you have a Samsung account linked to your device. But you can remove that Samsung account or the Google account from that phone by changing the password of the email that was linked to that phone then connecting the phone that you want to reset to any wi-fi network for the changes or to read the changes about being sent out or the password being changed so you have to resign in again so on that phone you won't have any account and it will be easier to reset my name is Arnold and I wish you the very best